Hey there, my name is Haltor. Welcome to this Fusion tutorial for beginners. Today I'm going to show you how to make a keychain which you can 3D print if you are into that. So let's get started. I'm going to go File, New Design. And from there I want to save my project. So I'm going to just write keychain. And here I can choose to make a new project. Where is like keychain? Keychain project and save. And it takes a bit time to load. Here we go. Okay, so first of all, I want to show you how to move within the software. So to begin with, you can press shift, middle mouse button, and you can rotate around. You can press Alt, middle mouse button, and, and pan. And to zoom, zoom in and out, you can use the scroll wheel. Okay, now you know how to move around. Uh, we are going to start to make this uh, center rectangle. And we can also go here to, to find it. And now these planes over here are with say, telling you where you want to put it. Do we want to put it front, right, left, top? And in our case, we want to put it on top. So we press on the view cube and it will move to the top. And then we select the plane. We're going to drag out and we're gonna just going to press 20. If you press the top key, you can jump between and just write 100. And now we want to have a circle. And we can go here to a center Demeter circle. Or we can simply just press C and we get the circle. We're going to write 80 and enter. Then we are going to press C again and drag roughly what we want. Press enter. Then we are going to use a dimension again. So we will go to this one, sketch dimension, and you can see D for shortcut. You can also go down here for it, but I'm just going to use D so you know. So you know. Okay. So we want to press D, click the line, the inner line, and then we click the other line. And we're going to click the middle, and then we're going to press 3, press and press 3 and enter. Uh, now we are going to use this tool here, trim. We can also get it from sketch and trim, but you can see the shortcut is T, so I'm going to use that. So T. And we're going to take away everything we don't need. Don't need this, we don't need this, we don't need this. And just to make it clean, we're going to trim this line away as well. So now it's looking quite clean. <coughs> okay. Um, I actually went out of the sketch, so now I have to just click the sketch to get it. So I can go here and double click the sketch. Oh, I'm still in the sketch. I thought I went out of it. But anyways, we are gonna <coughs> we are going to make the key holder. So I just press C. And you can see the X and the triangle over here. That's that is just telling me you're doing it in the center. So I'm gonna drag it out and press 16. Enter, enter. And the same thing that's before. We press C, drag it out roughly where we want it, and then we press enter. D for dimension. On three, and we were actually quite exact because we want to have it three. 
and then we are gonna use the uh, trim again but we can again find it here we're gonna trim away everything we don't need okay now we are almost ready we only need the text so I'm gonna go here to sketch and then text I'm gonna click the here and write maybe just I write my name Oop. Uh, hello <coughs> and then I'm gonna roughly put it in the center and from here we can choose what size we want so this one seems to be quite fitting to me and then I'm gonna just press enter we can then go here to the corner and press stop sketch so we wanna be in the beginning we wanna click here then we press shift and click shift click and shift click we wanna right click no left click right click sorry right click uh, drag it down and we want to have it three minus three press enter and you notice the sketch mm, kind of disappeared and if you have it like this you'll just see this and you will have to click sketch and here is the sketch and turn it on now we can see it again okay so uh, next up we want to shift click shift click left click right click uh, sorry um, press pull on three and we maybe want to take this up one millimeter so we right click and right one okay now we just need the text so we click once the text press pull and we want to have it slightly lower than the other so 2.5 okay now I have it like that and now we are done thank you for watching this tutorial and i hope it was helpful and i hope you enjoy it a lot